Welcome to The Global Pulse, a short video series where our experts break down a trending topic in international business and why it matters to you. The Olympics are coming to Paris this summer, and with them comes a lot of marketing. The Olympics are the premier sports event of the world, covering almost every single country and a host of sports. As a result, people from around the world, billions of people watch the Olympics. That makes them big business. And this big business is particularly important for global brands such as Nike. Nike is hoping that the Olympics will pull it out of its lackluster performance of late. Although Nike is still the number one sportswear brand by far in the world, it's slowed down a little in terms of sales. And it's hoping that the Olympics will help it get back on track. Nike is not an official sponsor of the Olympics. However, it is providing uniforms for several teams. Uh, in the US, for instance, across all sports, Nike will be the one providing the sportswear and the shoes. Uh, in some other countries, Nike is providing outfits for certain product categories. Uh, the Chinese athletics team, the Canadian athletics team, as well as the Kenyan athletics team are being supplied by Nike. So why does Nike need the Olympics? As I mentioned earlier, Nike is in a, a sales slowdown. And some reasons for that are it's not seen as innovative anymore. It hasn't had a, a major uh, success lately. Another thing is that other brands, small brands like Hoka, New Balance, Lululemon, and On Running uh, are increasing their sales and are growing rapidly. What these brands provide that currently Nike doesn't seem to provide is some innovation, that newness that uh, young people in particular crave. Nike's also had some problems in terms of uh, direct selling to consumers, which hasn't been as successful as they hoped it might be. So what Nike is planning to do is spend a lot of money on this Olympics. First of all, it's going to spend a lot of money on advertising and promotions during the Olympics. But right now, it's been spending money on innovative technology for its products that will supply these teams that I mentioned earlier. So last week, uh, Nike previewed its uniforms uh, for the US in a major three-day event in Paris. That's exactly the type of buzz that Nike is looking for. Uh, the uh, venue was full of, full of statues of global athletes, such as LeBron James, Kylian Mbappe, and Shakari Richardson. And it obviously generated a lot of publicity. The idea is that seeing famous athletes wear Nike products at the Olympics will inspire everyday consumers to want those products as well. Think about it. Your favorite athlete wins a medal in a sport uh, and your country wins a medal in that sport and on the podium are people wearing Nike garb. So that will make consumers want to buy Nike products and share in this idea that they are winning and are associated with winning teams. So be prepared to watch a lot of Olympics this summer and see so many uniforms with the iconic swoosh on them. The question is, and that remains to be seen, whether this will increase Nike sales in the way they want to.